Hi, this review is for the Derwent Ink Tense Pan Set. I've seen a lot of misleading reviews for this set, with several big channels claiming these to be an excellent watercolor travel set. But these paints are not a normal watercolor. The formula was originally created for a water-soluble color pencil. After watercolor travel sets started to get really popular, Derwent put these intense blocks into this familiar watercolor format to pique the interest of watercolor artists. This set is not ideal for beginners trying to learn watercolor painting. When judged as a watercolor paint, it's not a very good product. It suffers from characteristics commonly considered undesirable in a quality watercolor, including being chalky with muted or dull thick particles, and it is highly staining. It's like a water resistant gouache hybrid paint and it has no reaction to salt or water drops for texture effects. So aside from being able to be picked up with a wet brush and coming in a watercolor style palette case, they are a different type of paint. As with all of my reviews, even when my initial thoughts are bad, I tried not to let myself be discouraged and do my best to figure out what this product might be good for. So let's start with what the product claims to be. It is a travel set, yet the pan holders seem clumsy, and until well used, the paints can easily dump out. The chalky residue from the paints makes the palette look dirty even when new. The water brush is sent without a cap, even though most product photos on Amazon listing show that this was not always the case. I looked into that, and this was not an error for my set, but rather a change they made due to child safety concerns. That seemed a little odd to me since there are other small parts that could be swallowed in this set, but the end result is a fragile brush head that will surely have its bristles bent over time. It also seems less ready for travel, not easily being pre-filled with water and having a leak-proof cap but being forced to carefully stack it in the center to try not to damage the bristles against the side of the case. The box claims that washes of vivid paint can be applied without dissolving previous layers. I found that to be a false claim, both in the fact that these do partially dissolve previous layers, even when using a paper that promotes staining like this cold press B cotton paper, and there's nothing exceptionally vibrant about the colors in this set. If you do thin, diluted washes, you can increase the water resistance of each layer, but that's far from what I would describe as vivid. Which brings me to the color selection. I noticed that several of the colors are very opaque, similar to gouache, and that all of them are muted a few being so dark that they would be ideal for nighttime scenes. This ended up dictating my painting plan, which I should mention made me feel a bit limited. This is not a set you can do anything and everything with. It's a color selection that lacks a magenta for vibrant pinks or purples. An opaque white would have allowed for pastel tones that could be used as a gouache or a replacement for a white gel pen when working on highlights over previous layers or on dark papers. It also lacked a convenient starting point for skin tones like burnt umber or sienna, which is commonly found in a limited color palette. The yellow ochre and dirty dark brown didn't make up for that. They claim every color to be light fast, yet provide no pigment ingredient information. I had the Inktense pencils years ago and they had many colors that faded, which makes me nervous that these may contain fugitive colors as well. I started a light fast test for these and will make an update video once I'm able to confirm their permanence.
So after going through all the basic evaluations for this product and feeling like the best way to test them out in a painting was to create a purposefully dark and muted night scene, I set my negative thoughts aside and got to work. I noticed right away that the paint pans were thirsty, quick to absorb water compared to traditional watercolors. They started to dry faster on the page as well, creating a need to move quickly when trying to blend or filling in an area before edges dry. Overall, they were easy to work with once understanding their handling properties. I found thin diluted washes to stay in place as I moved on in layers. Later in the painting, I used the highly opaque yellow to bring in some highlights and stars. And though I would have preferred a white for that, it was a versatile set in regards to opacity, being flexible for building up transparent layers, but having the freedom to use less water for adding the opaque final touches to the top layers. I know that some people love the Inktense products, and while I felt this was not quite the product for me, I wanted to add my experience to the online review pool. I hope it is helpful to someone debating trying this product. I'd also love to hear your thoughts, and if you have any experience with Inktense, let me know in the comments below.